An old Scottish proverb says, do not judge by appearances. A rich heart may be under a poor coat. Y'all gonna see that movie. I told him we'd have to come get you. I'll take the advice. I'm gonna make it. I'll take you. I'll go watch it again. What is your name? Robert Paul Stewart. Kimberly Marie. Chris. What is your name? Uh, Jeffrey Allen Simpson. How long have you been homeless? I've been homeless uh, going on seven years. Seventeen years. How long have you been homeless? How long have you been out here? I've been out here almost 18 years. The goal of our ministry is to be a bridge between society and the homeless communities. The motivation and purpose for our ministry is to glorify God and help the homeless and poverty stricken in our area. This cause is a personal one for me because I was once in the same situation as my friends here. I spent the ages of 16 through 31 struggling with addiction and homelessness and understand the struggles that my friends are facing. What caused you to become homeless? Uh, my help, uh, I, I got able to say I'm blind legally in my left eye and going blind in my right. What happened to you that caused you to live out here? My marriage. I have told you, you know, we built a $135,000 home and I just walked away from it. What caused you to start the camp out here? No place else to go. What caused you to become homeless? Um, when me and my husband separated, I worked with somebody else and then I went to Alabama with my fiance. He had an aneurysm and died and gave up. Are you a military vet? Yes. What branch did you serve with? United States Marine Corps. Can you tell me a little bit about that? I joined the Marine Corps in 1968, got out in 1972. Uh, been shot once, uh, and that's about as far as I'm gonna go with that. How do you think people who are not homeless view people who are homeless? As a uh, criminal. And how does that make you feel? Very low. Other people look at homeless people. They thieves. They're no good. Uh, and they ain't, like, they ain't worth dirt that they walk on. It makes me feel like I'm stepped on, like I'm less, I'm a lesser person they are. Some people are sympathetic, basically. Some people look down on you. I'm not a criminal. I'm a pretty nice guy. And I try to help other people. What is the hardest thing about being homeless? Uh, living out here, the hardest thing is doing without. You've got nothing. I guess the weather. The weather? Yeah. What would you want people to know about um, you as a woman living here? 
as a woman, yeah, it's very hard because um, you don't get to take baths like you should be able to take baths. You know? Sometimes, sometimes. What are your hopes for the future? I'm hoping I'll save my money up, you buy me a camper, and get out of these woods. I would like to finish that book if I could ever start it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hope to get out of the woods one day, but I can't afford, afford a place to live. You know, I'm, I'm lost. That's why I'm out here. What are your hopes for the future? Uh, that I survive another few years, long enough to see him. You know, me and him gonna be buried together. We already got that figured out. We'll be able to get out of the room. Take back one of the children. I'd like to see my grandchildren, you know, they're seven to two. I'd like to see them grow up a little bit more, you know. If I don't help nobody but one person, that's, that's enough for me. Everybody's brothers and sisters in this world. So in God's eyes, we're all the same.